Product not yet rated. Hello, my name is Jim Boone, senior producer on Saints Row 4. We're going to show you the new features from our PAX pre-alpha demo, so let's get started. Our first big addition to Saints Row 4 is the fact that the leader of the Saints is now the President of the United States of America. He has continued his climb to the top and has now become the leader of the free world. You're seeing him in a virtual steel port. We're going to touch upon that a little bit later as we continue through this demo. But next, we're going to see the president greet some of his people. I'm out of gum. What? I will put my fist down your throat! Peace the fuck out! At Volition, we've always taken a lot of pride in some of the got? weapons that we come up with, and we're going to introduce a couple of them to you today. The first one is called the Inflato Ray. <laughs> We like to think that only Saints Row 4 can offer weapons that are as strange and exotic as this. All hail to me! Next we're going to introduce one of the fan favorites from PAX. This one is called the Dubstep Gun. Those are just a couple of our more exotic weapons in Saint Row 4, and we'll be revealing more of those in the months to come. But next, we're going to go do a little bit of shopping, so why not take a monster truck to get there? Next, we're going to introduce weapon customization. Customization has always been a major feature of Saints Row games in the past, and we've decided to extend that into the weapons now as well. So here you're going to see us take a rocket launcher, and we're going to be able to upgrade this weapon. In Saints Row 3, we introduced weapon upgrades, and people really enjoyed that. But in Saints Row 4, we wanted to take it the next step by giving the players the opportunity to customize the look of their weapon now as well. So if you want to take your rocket launcher and change it into, say, a guitar case, go for it. The weapon will still behave exactly the same way, all of your upgrades will still function as normal, but it just gives you the ability to customize the look of your character that much more. And now we're going to show you another one of the big additions that we've made to Saints Row 4. It's our new enemy type. Meet the Zen. This is an evil alien race that has invaded the Earth and abducted the President, along with other members of the Saints. But you're going to see a little bit more of them as we continue on as well. Because next we want to show you one of the fun new toys we've introduced to Saint Row 4. We decided that Saint Row needs a mech. This is going to be fun! Mech's an enormous amount of fun to be able to use. It has many guns, rockets, and jump jets. It dishes out an enormous amount of damage. And here you're seeing it in Mech Suit Mayhem. This is one of the activities in Saint Row 4. We've introduced a number of new activities for players to see, but even for some of those returning ones, we've had fun adding new twists to it, like with the mech suit here. Another thing that we've introduced for activities are multiple tiers of completion. And here you're seeing bronze, silver, and gold level completions. We've tried to add a lot more incentive for people who just really want to enjoy the open world. Now we're going to show you another one of our big additions to Saints Row 4. We decided that the President of the United States, the leader of the Saints, needed superpowers. All these moves that you're seeing here are super easy to execute. They're incredibly addictive and a ton of fun. And here you're also getting a really good look at this new steel port. It's a very twisted version with alien motherships, strange alien towers, a lot more verticality in this world. And now we're going to show you a little bit of superpowered combat. So in this other roof over here, I see a number of aliens. St. Trove is always a game about choice, so I can take them out with a pistol if I want to. But in this case, I'm going to use my superpowers to take them out with my bare hands. 
Again, all these moves that you're seeing here are very easy to execute. They're all designed to make you feel like a total badass. Now we're going to show you another one of our superpowers. This is called Blast. This will freeze anything that it comes into contact with. So if I want to shoot these pedestrians up here with Blast, freeze them solid, I can walk up and shatter them into a thousand pieces. You can freeze cars and kick them and send them sliding. I'm going to show you another one of our superpowers now. This is called Telekinesis, or TK for short. She can grab someone and just toss them through the air. Or throw them against a wall. You can pick up cars and toss them around. It's an incredibly powerful ability. These are just a couple of the superpowers that we're revealing today. All of our superpowers are designed to be used with weapons, and they can be put together in interesting combinations as well. That's why I get paid the big bucks. Here you're seeing more of the Zin as well. These are the evil aliens that have come in and abducted the president. We've had a lot of fun coming up with an enemy that was going to be sufficiently powerful to challenge the player with all these superpowers. In just a moment here, you're going to see the Zin's version of their superhero. It's called a Warden. 